Hey everybody, what's going on? Hellmite here, bringing you another video from Grab the Lantern today. Today I wanted to talk about Mythic Chromas and the apparent controversy around the, these pieces of cosmetic content, as apparently a lot of people over on uh, not only Twitter but also on Reddit are very mad about this kind of content, and uh, to me it makes no sense. But uh, today we're going to be talking a little bit more about uh, Mythic Chromas and how I think that it's actually not only a brilliant idea on Riot's part, but also something that I think totally makes sense. Now for those of you not in the know, Mythic Chromas are a new type of cosmetic content that Riot are going to be uh, releasing before too long. They've already previewed the first sort of uh, part of this over on Twitter with the a Mythic Chroma for Final Boss Vagar. Now, specifically, Mythic Chromas are going to be Chromas available for um, Mythic or Legendary tier skins. Those That is what they're going to be available for, only those skin tiers. And now the kicker is that these Chromas are also going to come with recolored particle effects. I know one of the biggest bugbears for me with regards to Chromas is the fact that, yes, you can change your champion skin any color you want from red to yellow to blue to green but the particle effects on that champion skin don't change to match so unfortunately you could buy something like a bright yellow chroma for your favorite champion skin but then the particle effects are still blue or still green and it just clashes in a horrendous way and I, I really dislike that so to me I think this is sort of Riot filling in a hole in their offerings by saying hey look we are going to give you the option of buying a chroma for these uh, high value skins that is going to allow you to adjust the colors and especially the class of skins that they're doing this for, I think this makes a lot of sense to do. Mythic skins are very difficult to come by. There are not very many of them in existence. They are on a rotating basis. They cost a premium currency that you can't possibly buy. I think it makes a lot of sense to then give a premium way to make those premium skins even better. And the other thing I think that makes a lot of sense for them to do is for legendary skins, which these are regularly purchasable. These are typically the best skin in a champion's catalog, and it kind of makes sense, therefore, to say, hey, if you bought a legendary skin, let's say Final Boss Vagar, and it's the only Vagar skin you ever use, well, we're going to give you another way of augmenting that and making that skin in particular feel different and exciting and special. However, a lot of people have gotten uh, mostly upset over the price of this content. Myth currently, Mythic Chromas are slated to cost uh, 40 Mythic Essence and are in the Mythic Essence store, meaning that they will be rotating alongside everything else. Now, the price point is a particular bugbear for a lot of players, and if you're doing the math at home here, it's because of how much it costs relative to other Mythic skins. Mythic Essence, or right, a Mythic Chroma costs 40 ME and that's about a third of the price of a Mythic skin. That means that, theoretically, if you're spending this 40 Essence, that's a good chunk of the way towards a Mythic skin that you may not be able to easily make up if Riot are then going to reveal a Mythic skin that you actually want to buy afterwards. Sort of a um, relying on fear of missing out in order to say, hey players, come buy this cool fancy content for skins that you already own, and then we're going to release a skin that you really want, forcing you to grind it out, right? Mythic Essence is extremely difficult to come by, and that therefore it means that if they do put out content you want, you sort of have no recourse other than to spend a lot of money gambling on loot boxes, or buy the event pass and spend a lot of time grinding it out to get that 100 Mythic Essence at the end. However, I don't think this is necessarily a, a problem, and here's why. I think, first, it's fair for Riot to have a premium set of content and a premium set of cosmetic skins and uh, alterations for those skins for a price point like this. I think that, and I, the reason I think this is fair is because 95% of the content in League of Legends, and this is me being fairly conservative, 95% of the content for League of Legends is discreetly purchasable in the store for real world money. Right. If I wake up one morning and I decide I have to have Armor of the Fifth Age Taric, that, that I have a longing, a lust for that skin in my body, and I must purchase it, I open League of Legends, I buy RP, and I buy the skin. Done. And it's like that for 95% of content in the game. There's maybe another 3% of content, I would guess, that's vaulted, that I can't buy whenever I want, but which generally comes around yearly, right? Things like the... Um, uh, Halloween skins or Christmas skins or Valentine's Day skins, right? Riot are pretty good about unvaulting all of those every year. So even if they're not available throughout the year, all I have to do is say, you know, if I happen to want Heartseeker Annie, for example, I can just kind of wait for next Valentine's Day when it inevitably gets unvaulted and purchase it there. There's maybe 1% of content that is specifically locked to the Mythic system, right? And that's Mythic skins and Prestige skins that you are not able to purchase outside of using this premier resource or this premier currency that Riot are going to give you, right? And in that regard, this is one of the reasons why I feel like it's it's fair to have fairly high prices on these and to sort of maintain this rotating shop because to a certain extent, 
yes, this skin, these, this content is supposed to be hard to come by. This content is not supposed to be seen on everybody. If you guys remember from my original discussions on prestige skins, the whole point of prestige skins was reintroducing the concept of rare skins by saying this is content that is exceptionally hard to get, that if you're seeing a prestige KDA Kaisa or a prestige Blood Moon Aatrox, that this is a very rare occurrence, that you're not likely to see this very often, and that if you do see it, this is someone who owns a very exclusive piece of content that isn't available anymore and that you can't get outside of very, very rare circumstances. That was sort of the entire goal behind prestige content, and I think that a lot of people forget that with how easy it is to get prestige content right now, but if you really think back on the last few games you've played, even the last couple hundred games you've played, how many times have you seen prestige KDA Kaisa or prestige KDA Akali? Probably not a lot, because those are some of the first uh, premier skins released or prestige skins that were released, and they're no longer for sale, and no players can get them, even if they really want them, right? And that's sort of how this system is supposed to work. It's supposed to be rare. It's supposed to be hard to come by. Now, I will. I get the dislike of Riot relying on fear of missing out to make players try to act in the moment to say, oh, well, this Chroma is out and I really want it and I don't know if they're going to come out with a skin, a mythic skin for a champion that I want to buy, so I'm just going to buy this Chroma. And then, oh, no, they put out a, a mythic skin for my favorite champion and now I can't buy it and now I have to do this other stuff. I think that's fair. And that's, that's a fair argument to levy at Riot, but I think the reason I'm okay with it is because it's such a small subset of their available content, right? Riot, I think, are very generous when it comes to their free-to-play model. There is very little that cannot be just individually purchased, unlike, let's say, Blizzard, where they rely on loot boxes for every single piece of content you get out of Overwatch. You can't go and say, I individually want the Halloween Cole Cassidy skin. I can't buy that unless I buy enough loot boxes to accrue enough currency to buy it, or if I just happen to luckily roll it from a loot box, right? That's a much more predatory practice than Riot saying this one skin isn't available, may become available if you sit on your Mythic Essence, which you can get for free nowadays, which it used to be very hard to get gemstones, nowadays you can get Mythic Essence a lot more easily, and it's more valuable because there's more content that's available for it, then eventually, when it rotates back in, you will be able to grab it. I think that it's it's fair for Riot to have the system, and I think that generally the presence of this content isn't a big deal. Is the price point high? Maybe, maybe not. I feel like these chromas are generally more applicable to more players, given that legendary skins, which they are going to be released for, are able to be purchased in the shop, right? So unlike Mythic skins, right, where there are a lot of Mythic skins, but none of them are for champions that I want to play personally, but that I have a lot of legendary skins, either purchased or gotten through boxes. And if they happen to release a Mythic Chroma for a legendary skin that I happen to have, if they put out an Either Wing Kale Mythic Chroma or a Dunk Master Darius Mythic Chroma, well, that's more applicable to me, right? That's something I can actually use this Mythic Essence that I've been sitting on for, because right now there's really not much that I use it for. I just kind of stare at the number and think, well, eventually maybe they'll put out content that I actually want. And offering more content in this regard then, I think is a fair thing for Riot to do, and I think is a fair thing for them to say, hey, this is something that we are going to be offering. So those are my opinions on Mythic Chromas. I think they're a great decision, and I, I don't think they're as predatory as a lot of people are making them out to be. I feel like it's fine for Riot to have the sort of rotating premier content system, but if you guys feel differently, let me know down in the comment section below. I would love to hear your guys' opinions, especially if there's something that I haven't considered in this video. Let me know all that down in the comments. If you enjoyed the video today, go ahead and leave it a like, and if you really enjoyed the video, consider subscribing. I plan to do it every Monday, Friday, and on patch days as well. Once again, thank you guys so very much for watching. I do appreciate it, and I'll talk to you all later. Sure.